Hello and welcome to the Toneless Gear channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a New York City edition Big Muff modification that I did for a friend. Uh, I'm going to take you through the controls from left to right, top to bottom. So we've got a volume, a tone and sustain control. Those are standard on the Big Muff. In between the tone and sustain control, you've got a little switch. That bypasses the tone knob. So Big Muffs are known for their mid scoop. That completely gets rid of that, makes it nice and flat. Underneath that, you'll see we've got the mids knob. Less of a mids knob, actually a bit of a volume control for the top end of the tone. Uh, underneath there, to the left, we've got our standard true bypass control. Then above that, you've got a little flick switch, which is used for, I've actually made it so you can swap the diodes, uh, so you can get a bit of different clipping options. To the left of that switch, you've got a tiny bezel. It's actually the blue LED in the clipping circuit, and that lights up, which is really cool when you play it hard enough. And then to the left of that, underneath, you've got the lightning bolt control, which is actually a gain stage and bias control for the first input transistor, which is really cool. You don't really see that very often. And then the only other thing I've done which uh, to this is I've added a DC barrel connector at the top, which is a little bit more standard than the weird ones that you get on the standard Big Muff. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take you through the schematic, kind of what I did to it, and then just a sound demo, just to finish it off. So cool. Let's go. Cool. So here's a schematic I found on the electrosmash.com website. It's a great website. It's got loads of resources on pedals like the Big Muff and the Tube Screamer, all about how each individual stage in the pedal comes together to like edit the sound and you, you can really further your understanding on how pedals work. Uh, so yeah, I thoroughly recommend you checking it out. My modifications to this Big Muff were mainly in the input booster, the clipping amplifier and the tone stages. I left the output booster alone on this one. So for the input booster, if you look at Q4, which is the transistor, below that there's a resistor called R22 at 100 ohms. I swapped that out for a 20k potentiometer, which means that you've got a variable bias and therefore a variable gain on the input booster, which isn't something I usually see on big muffs, but the result is that you can tame it, pull it back a little bit, get a little bit more overdrive tones rather than all out fuzz. And then yeah, if you go the other way, you just get like a big fat sounding fuzz, which is so sick. Um, then onto the clipping amplifier stage, if you see above Q3, there are D4 and D3 in the feedback network. Uh, they're 1N914s. I actually gave the option to switch those for the LEDs. So a red LED on one side and a blue LED on the other. And that allows, because they've got different drop-off voltages, they allow for asymmetrical clipping on either side of the waveform, which is pretty cool. Uh, then finally, onto the tone stage. Um, I added the option to give a true bypass for the tone because Big Muff's known for that big, like the big mid scoop. A lot of people just want flat all out fuzz. So that would be really cool for lead tones. And then the other thing I did was with the tone stage is I did some research and found the values for the a Ram's head Big Muff. Um, so I swapped out R5, C9, R8 and C8 values just to mimic that specific model. The result of that is in like an even bigger scoop in the middle. So on one side, you get like this massive bassy sound. And then on the other side, you've got like a really quite harsh trebly sound. So that's the circuit schematic analysis over. Um, now let's see how it sounds.
Thanks again for tuning into the Toneless Gear channel. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to make a lot more videos and I'm really keen to make videos that people want to watch. So if you have an idea, please comment or DM me and we'll make it happen. So yeah, see you later.